What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to a new video. If you guys are following my journey into a new career, you guys might already know this and that is I am going for a security guard right now and then in the future I'm going to be applying for CBSA Canada's border. Recently over the past few weeks I've had plenty of job interviews for a security guard and going into them I was extremely nervous because I haven't had a job interview in over six years. So today I decided I'm going to be sharing a few job interview tips to maybe help you guys if you guys are going for a job interview very soon. Hopefully this may help, but let's get right into it. So for the first tip, don't be late. Try to be early. If you can't arrive early, try to at least arrive on time. If you arrive late to a job interview, the interviewer may think that these are your regular habits. And if they were to hire you, you will always be late to your job. So it is not going to look good on you if you are late to the job interview. I would honestly recommend going early if anything. The next tip is to prepare for the interview and to go over questions. My job interviews were both of them over an hour away, so that gave me plenty of time on my way there while I was driving to prepare for the job interviews. By doing this, you're going to prepare yourself so whenever you are asked questions in the interview, you already know what to say, you already know how to answer, you don't have to stumble to try to come up with an answer. By doing this, it will also help you out with your nerves because you're going to know what to say whenever you are asked it, and to me that makes it so much easier doing your interview if you already know what you're going to say. The next tip is how you dress. Now, if you're applying for a job and going for an interview for something like retail or flipping burgers, you don't necessarily have to show up in a full suit. Maybe just nice shoes, nice pants, and a nice button-up shirt, something simple like that. But if you're going for a position that is more professional, for example, security guard like myself, I wore dress shoes, dress pants, and a nice white dress shirt. That just made me look a lot more professional going into the interview. You don't necessarily have to dress in a full suit, but you do have to dress up a little bit going into a job interview. The next tip is don't lie, be honest. Now this doesn't just mean for your job interview, but also on your resume. Because if you lie during your interview or on your resume, if you were hired in the future, those lies may catch up with you. For example, if you lie about knowing how to do something, and then in the future you're asked to do something, it's not going to look good on you. Those lies will catch up with you. The next tip is if you do not understand a question that you are asked, simply ask them to clarify. There was a few questions in my interview that were worded kind of differently. So I simply said, I'm sorry, what do you mean by and repeated part of the question? That way you're not answering a question that they did not ask. You're answering exactly what they wanted you to answer. The question that they're asking you, you will be able to answer it right. The next tip is don't be shy to mention any future goals that you have. Usually you're asked a question, something along the lines of, where do you see yourself in five years? If you do have plans for the future and maybe another career in mind, it doesn't hurt to mention that in the job interview because that's what I did and it actually helped me get the job. It made them know that I do have plans for other things in the future, maybe bigger things, and it lets them know that if I'm willing to do that, then I'll be doing this job very well. The next tip is to try to relate any questions that you're asked to previous work experience. And if you do not have any previous work experience, maybe relate it to school experience. So for example, if you're asked to explain a stressful situation and how you dealt with it, if you did have a stressful situation at your previous work, then mentioning that will help you answer the question. It honestly looks a lot better on you than just saying that you don't know or something like that. Next is to listen to what they're saying and what they are asking you. This will help you answer the question so you're not answering something that they were not asking you. The next tip is to be well mannered. Whenever you go into the job interview, shake their hand and introduce yourself. And whenever you're leaving the interview, thank them for their time. And the last thing that I want to mention is just because you're going into a job interview doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the job. I honestly wouldn't get your hopes up and I would keep your options open. Maybe there's other job interviews that you have planned. Don't get your sights set on one particular job. But this also means that just because you go into a job interview doesn't mean you have to accept that job. Let's say you were to go into two different job interviews and they were to both hire you. Whichever one is better and whichever one that you would rather work for, you can go for that one and you can decline the other one. Just because you go into a job interview doesn't mean you have to accept that job. 
So these have been some of my job interview tips. I hope you guys do enjoy and I hope this has helped somebody if they are going in for a job interview very soon. Honestly, myself, I was extremely nervous going into my job interviews recently because I haven't had a job interview in six years and I was really stressed out going in for my first job interview, but I ended up getting the job and I'm extremely excited to start. In the future, I am going to be sharing about my new job with you guys, maybe how my first day went and different things like that, but I am going to leave this video here. I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.